Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last seeds of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalov, and right now, we're playing, of course, as a Russian free territory. It's 1977, and the economy is glitching out a little bit, which I'll talk about a little bit, but look how big Germany is. Oh, how big is that Reich? But, at this point, we actually have two tank divisions. One, SP artillery, which is not this one, which is just normal combat, normal tanks with APCs. And then, here's the SP artillery one. Not bad. But, like I did say, the economy has kind of hit the fan a little bit as we look right here. So, as you see, we have a... Actually, I, I paid off all the debt. I literally paid off all the debt. We have 3% inflation. We've got almost $80 billion in GDP with a good amount of real GDP growth. Um, so, we have a deficit. Oh, it was an annual deficit. But it's green. Why is it green? Um, deficit of that much. Deficit of that much. Okay, so why is it green then? Shouldn't it be green? Uh, okay, so never mind. So we have about 1.3% debt to GDP ratio. Part of it, the vast majority of just military spending has just cost so much. So, and even then, we're like at the really bottom here. So overall, not bad. I did cut it down quite a bit. So overall, not too bad. And uh, this actually did fire too. We have widespread cronyism, which really sucks. But other than that, everything else is pretty darn, pretty darn good. I'll be honest. So let's see if we can move right on in and have a good old time because for these guys, uh, they have no divisions. Military bezek. There we go. Full mother anarchy, my friends. I was expecting to hear something, but we didn't hear anything. And we're out of manpower too, but my goal is like capitulate the Moscow German territory as fast as possible, just so that we can get some manpower. It's not looking good right now at all, now is it? Barbie's doing not too bad either, but. Uh, oh, war taxes? Ooh, okay. Yeah, it hurts our war support pretty badly, and then we get less GDP growth, but. It's alright. It's alright. I don't see how much money we get from this too. I'm not gonna cut down mil uh, military spending though. Maybe civilian I don't know. With the whole update with Toolbox Theory, we can't really build that much anymore, so. There was a comment saying we should do some of the Hoff, which was a decision here. Um, uh, off screen, or not off screen, but like after we unified Western Site Russia. Oh. Well, it's not looking good right now. That's not good. Oh, also, we do have this too. We do have the ciphers done for like these guys, and these guys. Hmm. Did we get this one done? No, we didn't even do that one. Oh, that sucks. That's dumb. Oh, well, it is what it is. How many have we lost? 25,000 versus 132,000? Not bad, even though the Germans literally have millions of people there. Which does suck quite a bit, but, you know, whatever. You know, I should probably make some anti-air at this point. Anti-air is super, super important to get. And there goes the manpower. Goodbye, manpower. Now we got 55,000 more manpower. But never enough, my friends. Never enough. Is it ever enough? No, it is not. Anyone have upgrades? Infantry expert, uh, Mikhail. Nothing there, too, that I really care about too much. Voroshilovgrad. Not bad. Not bad. Hopefully we do okay, though. That's always my goal, to at least do okay. A lot of green. Well, for the most part. A lot of divisions down here, though. Hmm. Heading over the river is not a smart idea, but... Oh, well. There's some thousand losses. Come on, keep going. You gotta get to Moscow. If we get Moscow, I think we win. Well, oh, they have the German, the, the Germans, the British there too. Can you both go there? God dang it! Go right here. We need Moscow now. We gotta capitulate them. There you go. That's a little better. Because it takes so long to do that. And JDP goes up. Deficit of 0.44. Not bad. They've only lost 500,000. We lost about 100,000. Liberation of Moscow. Moscow's behind us. Great. Honestly, I don't really care who we take out first. I just want to core something here. We got to core stuff. Because it's so bad right now. Uh, someone also said in the comments in the last video to play as Japan. Yes, I would love to play as Japan. Because they got like an update and they got... Supposedly, some a lot of bug fixes. So, at the time of recording, maybe we'll see. I'm just not sure, especially since. Um, oh, there, guys. Uh, I do want to. I don't know when the 
developers going to update TNO to work with No Step Back, at least at the time of this recording, so we'll see. No guarantees, but... Well, St. Petersburg, that should capitulate them, right? No? Oh, they're off for Muscovine. If you want to go that, please go ahead. Onward to Germania. On um, this point, get Baku. Go there. Tiflis, yes. Not bad. Krasnodar, yeah. Karathinish, that. Makes sense. Oh, we got him. Nice. So, can we not... Four? Oh, my goodness. I hope we can cut him off. I really hope we can cut him off. This is nice. A whole thin line just ready to die right in front of us. Oh, well, we lost a division of tanks. Well, crap. I guess we're not going to be able to core anything here. That sucks. Why we can't core some of these people? Me no understand. Nice, beautiful. Take that, Baku oil. Usually we're just able to immediately just kill them all off, but okay. Not bad. How many have we killed off? 1.17 million. Not bad. Germany, though, has... Do we just capitulate someone else? No? Yeah, they, they have Austin as a core, which kind of sucks for us. 118 divisions. Not bad. They have 9 million manpower, which is insane, especially compared to us. But it's alright. No, you can't go there. Okay, this is... Gl is this glitched? Seems really awkward. Okay, well, it seems to work now, so whatever. Um, hey, there goes Calcasine. Nice. Parts of growth. Now it gives us a plus. Okay, my bad. I thought for some reason, like, we were in a... It said deficit, and it's green. I don't like that. I want deficit to just be red all the time. I wish you could kind of coordinate, color coordinate that. Just because I want I want no de debt. Like, literally no debt. Anarchists will not have any debt, I swear. We will not have any. This is pretty nice, though. This is a... Mostly easier than I expected, because sometimes it is quite easy, honestly, doing this stuff, but... Usually we're able to just core, like, Muscovy once they're dead. So, we understand why we can't right now, but whatever. Alright, so with that in mind, we got to re the front line, because it's pretty bad right now. All the way over there. And you might as well go for a Theodore Rixhofen. It goes all the way up and back down. GDP, even 4.5%. That GDP is 85 billion. It's not bad. Five. Four. Three. Two. Well, give it a little bit of time first. One. Can you actually push into them, maybe? That'd be nice. Yeah, overall not bad. Especially using 40 combos. And I did make sure we put extra anti-tank in all of our divisions here just to give them a little bit of that extra push. A little bit of the extra oomph. Oh, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. Plus, like, not bad. They have 86 divisions max. We actually might have... Yeah, we do have more divisions than them. We don't have any manpower. So usually we can core stuff so we can get more manpower, but we just... I don't know, we need more manpower. That's probably going to be my biggest complaint whenever we do this for the West Russian War. We just never have enough manpower, man. Nice. Good, good, good. And also, we didn't have enough equipment. Like, for a long time, that's why we took it until 78 now. It's literally 1978 right here. But, like, we had to wait this long just because we didn't have enough equipment to do anything here. We luckily have enough... Don't, we don't have enough artillery, but... It was a lot worse earlier, so. Can you guys keep moving, please? I don't want to lose Moscow again. Huh. Don't want to upgrades. Yes, Nikolai? No? Okay. Whatever, we didn't want upgrades anyways, right? Right. Alright, 1.035 billion becomes what next? We have almost no interest on the debt. As well. 0.971. Ah, downward slope. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Come on, guys. Keep moving. Keep moving. 
We've only killed off two million of them. That's not going to be enough. Especially for the Ukrainians. We don't need down from Ukraine, but... Uh, so what do we need to do to demand a complete German surrender? We need Sankt... Are you kidding me, bro? Seriously? Hmm, I hate th sometimes this so much. These tanks suck so hard. Oh, you ding dongs. There you go. So now we've even less divisions on the front line. Thanks, guys. Still looking relatively okay, though. Oh, more melees? Finally. Um, grab more guns, because we're going to need them. APCs are fine. Get more arty, maybe, eventually, too. It's just, we're always out of manpower. Look at that. Yeah, you don't want to leave them there. That's pretty dangerous to leave a German alive. Yeah, okay. You, why are you taking so long, man? Oh, you're already up there. Okay, I'm like, oh my goodness. Why are you taking so long? Katrinestadt, Minsk, Riga. We'll get them eventually. They only have 76 divisions left anyway, so. But yeah, taking on the entire Einheit's pack, kind of suicidal. Even though, like, Iran, and both Iran and Iraq went to the J Japanese sphere, which makes no sense. There's those guys over there. Yeah, this is a kind of a continental war. Huh. Who would have seen that one coming? Still 75 divisions, too many for the Germans. Guys, you should help them out. Just to kill off all their equipment and manpower. Which, they should have a ton. Right, they should. Yeah, they have a ton of manpower. They have only 70 factories, like, barely more than us. Uh, do they have any more equipment? They might. Plenty of empty tank. They got... Some guns, I've got plenty of guns. Oh, yeah. They definitely... Oh, nice. But we can't core it. Oh, so bad. Nice, there you go. Keep going, keep going. You're doing great. I have to fight the remains as well, god dang it. So after this, we'll take out these guys, and I'll send you guys back down south over here. Pimento? What do we want? A little more manpower. There you go. That's good over there, too. 64 divisions left by the Germans. That's good, 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 good. And what else do we need left? Do we need Katharina, Stadt, and Riga? That one's down there, which is kind of dumb that we have to get all over there because we're about to invade normal Germany. Oh, look at that. Kill them all, please. Thank you. Beautiful. And Riga will be ours very soon. Oh, excuse me, are you trapped? Oh, as you should be. Can you guys just go in, please? Thank you. I wonder how they get their more, more fuel. Because they, they probably just import it, too. Not bad. Arensberg? Arensberg? Ah, how's the economy? 1%? Less than a billion? 88 billion? Not bad, not bad. Whose capital is this? Military of Mus Bezek Muscovine, huh? Taking a little bit of Romanian soil? My god, would you hurry up up here? Okay, just go in. Just go in now. They literally have no ports. Because we need this tile down here. Ay, ay, ay. That'd be no man parts really bad. Oh, we have a lot of divisions up here, too. Look at that. Help them out just a wee bit. Just, are these even elite? It looks like those are elite. Yeah, Berserkers are probably elites. Elites. 
Not bad. Eh, take him more Romania. Very nice. Come on. Take him out. Wow. Go right here. Kill them off right now. You find them, you kill them. No mercy. God knows they won't show you mercy. Alright. And... There you go. Oh, I can do them again. Nice. Good stuff. Good. Oh, why the French state up there? Where'd you guys come from? More German divisions? Oh, it's right here. Come on, let's get in there. Oh, we got him. Nice, good. Now, race down here, because we got to get Krasnodar. What was that? What is in our timeline? Krasnodar. Anyone else have upgrades? Yes. Alexei. Go, go a little of the scavenger. Oh, boy. Androni? Androni. Get more attack. We like it when you attack. So we've lost about three quarters of a million people. Got off a lot of Germans, not nearly enough though. Ah, uh, we need a Balk Balkan. Baltic pocket. Mel, please, and thank you. Yeah, some would say we are getting balls deep into Romania. Those people would not be wrong. Oh, you wanted to leave? Oh, die there for amusement, please, thank you. That's a berserk. Very good. Okay, what the heck are you doing? Go, stop. Well, this some divisions re really just racing down there. I'll prepare the one against the Pope. Uh, Brucrest would be quite nice this time of year. Oh, we're getting cl Oh, we are in what is Germany. Very good, very good. Ah, and Romania! Thank you! All you need is Bucharest, which is really nice. <sighs> Brasov. Well, someone's about to get in circle here. It's alright, it happens. Oh wow, that was so much like I don't the game almost crashed there. Holy crap. What number of divisions does Germany have? 53. We now have a bigger army than the entire Ionites pack combined. Nice. And we're still cutting our debt down. Nothing like it, my friends. Absolutely nothing like it. Paying off our debts, killing off some German boys, spreading anarchy and its cause throughout all the world. What could be better than this? Probably making more babies, but whatever. As much as I want to keep pushing in there, I think it's probably best to complete German surrender. I and mean, honestly, if, like, if we do this, then we should also get Romania. The Treaty of Riga. Our staggering advance into the lands of the Reich have stunned the globe, the Germans especially. The Germans have approached our government with an offer. To avoid nuclear war, the Germans are prepared to accept our Eastern European claims on the condition that Germany proper would be left untouched by the treaty. Tell Germania we accept their stenchful, disgusting treaty. Well, everybody, after about five hours, the game has decided to finally unfreeze itself. Very nice. So we did get a lot of states. Wow, we can core 45 states. The fate of Iborg. Um... Well, let's go ahead and ruin our GDP because, well, this improves administrative efficiency, which I might be glitched, or just doesn't work for a free anarchist society like us. Oh, look, look at all that. Point minus five GDP growth in exchange for point zero one GDP growth. So we're going to really smash the crap out of our economy, but that's quite all right with us. That's what we expect, right? Hopefully we can core everything, but it's going to take a a long booty time to do so. So now we have a surplus. Nine billion in surplus, which means... Ah, the Germany surrenders. Too many of the outbreak of the Second West Russian War was a futile effort by the new Russian government. A campaign that was destined for failure from the moment the war had been declared. Yet the world watches on in shock as a spokesman speaking on behalf of the Fuhrer has announced that in the interest of saving the Reich from nuclear annihilation, the German government has decided to see their eastern frontier to the rising Russian state. The international and domestic embarrassment for giving up their Leibniz realm has sent shockwaves across the globe. On the streets of Germany, protests have erupted across the nation as the Wehrmacht prepares to declare martial law. The consequences of the Treaty of Riga will have major repercussions on the German Reich for many years to come. Here's the humiliation finally over.
Nice. Very nice. But we must... Uh, no, I'm good about manpower. I'm really good about that. Um, Fate of Iborg? Yeah, I don't know if we're actually going to get that one done. Also, we have... <laughs> Holy crap. Negative 17.5% real GDP growth. Now, that's what we live for. Even though we're still getting a surplus of 5.2 billion, even though with this growth, like once we get everything cored, then it'll be okay. It just takes a while to do, actually. Let's go look at how the month changes. So 0.756 national debt, minus almost roughly 18% real GDP growth. Um, how worse can this get? So we have eight, eight. Oh, look at that. And our GDP actually went down. Negative real growth. Well, there's literally nothing you can do about it right now. National debt is about 0 0.061 billion. Not bad. And I think it's time to kill off a couple fins, maybe. Fate of Iborg. The city of Viborg was won by the Soviet Union back in 940 when the Red Army troops triumphed over the Finnish troops. Although the city was eventually retaken by Finland during the Great Patriotic War, many of our journalists believe that with the Leningrad back in the hands of the Russian Free Territory, we should put some distance between Finland and Leningrad and take what's rightly for ours. Of course we won't take it, you piece of doo-doo. What do you mean? Why wouldn't we take it? It's rightfully ours. We have a whole four fat divisions. Actually, I did take them out earlier, like, well, between... The end of last episode and this episode, so... Also, with the West Western, second West Russian Warmark, we can't get all of Central Asia, which kind of sucks, but... It's alright. So, are we winning? Okay, point one political power every single day. Casually... So, a surplus, so I'm not too worried. Oh, they actually showed up, they actually showed up, look at that. As expected, our forces, or forests, have triumphed over the smaller Finnish nation once again, or... Nighton again. As a result of the great victory, Viborg has finally returned to our glorious motherland. The people of Leningrad will rest easier now, and surely knowing that they won't fear an attack from the north anytime soon. A victory for the motherland. And we get another core. Oh, free core. I love free cores. Um, you look like you're not doing anything, so there you go. There you go. Uh, no. You do that. There you go. Overall, my friends, not too bad. I'd love to take them out again, but... I don't think we're really allowed to, but yeah. With, uh... The anarchist territories, we have won our war. We still have literally no manpower because we're still coring way too much. But yeah, I don't... That looks just so bad. I want to see what happens. What do we go tax temp hike? Oh, we do have a little bit of reserves. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. Went up, 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 up. And then, and then straight down. Nice. Let's invest. Nice. That helped out not that much. What do we do this one? Military austerity? Negative 15? Uh, what do we do this one? Tax... Temp cut? That helped out a little bit. Still get a surplus though. But yeah, 88 billion. It's not nearly enough. Actually, is there a way to see. Let's see. Ledger? Uh, stability is negative 8% for Germany, which is should be honestly worse than that. Population wise, uh, the ComCon. Com is international? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Oh, never mind. That's something else. Um, Russia for territory. We are that much population. Four research slots. China is five. Holy crap. We have 72 factories. We have less in China and way less in the U.S. We have more than double than the uh, Germans. We're supposed to 48%. Wow. Not bad. Not enough population here, but let's see. Uh, how, how we actually move the Russian capital? Yes. And now that the Russian people have finally triumphed over Germany, it's time to decide what the future capital of Russia will be. Much of our government supported the move to return the capital of Russia back to Moscow, but the great deal of people who believe we should keep the capital here in the Russian Free Territory. No Sibiris, the third Rome. One to the West. Uh, let's do... Let's go to Leningrad. I think that'd be appropriate for us. As much as I want to keep it here in our territory over here, I think that's okay. And now our GDP growth has gone back up, and we'll go up and down, and then back up. Well, we will probably never, ever... Well, actually, we might. We might as well have... We better have a surplus. But hey, regardless... If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, let me know what your thoughts are. We're on the Toolbox Theory update for TNO, as well how it has affected the Russian Free Territory, and of course, other nations. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.